stamp is to turn into a drawing. Just looking at mine visually now, like I just, if I look at it from the front view, you know, realistically, the lamp's not hanging over the workpiece that much, so I could modify a few things within my drawing just to change that. But just to show you how to create our drawings, we're going to come up here to changing workspace. So we're going to go from a design into a drawing and drawing from design. Now this will take a few minutes for it to generate, but just looking at this, we want the, um, the full assembly. We're going to create a new one from scratch. Um, ISO is a standard that we're using. It's going to be in millimetres and we're doing it onto an A3 page. So we could change that to, um, to A4 to suit our, uh, our slides that we're creating. So we go OK. So it just takes a second to generate it. The idea of a working drawing is that um, we should be able to give this to somebody to manufacture. So it's a very detailed drawing and we need to put dimensions and titles on there and any kind of surface finishes or anything like that onto, onto the drawing. And so this is the, um, the canvas that we start with and we need to go through and um, start to place on some of our views. So you can see, oops, just press escape there. You can see that this really dominates the page here and it comes up with the title, um, the date that I'm creating it and um, also puts on the person's name who's creating it. So if I was to place my, you can go through and you, you can delete um, the title block if it's too much. Um, but you do need to have some form of title block, so you might go through and, and trim and remove parts of it. So over here we've got our create, and we need to put on a base view. So the, the, the front view of a project is typically the view that's going to give uh, people the most detail. So I'm going to just place this roughly in the centre, and um, right-click and go OK. Um, next thing that I need to do is I need to project some views from that. So if you just hover over these little ones, this is projected view. So I need to project this so I can have a top view and I can just click the little OK button. And I'm also going to project a side view. So it's projecting it out to the side and OK. And I might also give the viewer a, um, a an isometric style or a pictorial drawing of what they're making over on this side. You can have a look, when we, when we look on each one of the views, we can actually see the hidden detail. So any lines that we can't see are shown as hidden detail. And now we need to go through and we need to put some text in. So this one here, just dragging out a text box, capital letters, and we're gonna put down front view because it's the one with the most detail. Just drag your box out so it's all um, in one, one line. And what you can do, you can just click on that and go copy and paste. So we just look for for copy and then we can just go paste. You can also just use um, command V and you just slide that across. And now that we've already got that in there, you can double click on it. Oop. Double click to edit your text. Oops, this version may not like that too much. So we can just go back and just pop in a new text box. Might just be easier. So side view. And then this one up here will be the top view. We also need to put dimensions on there. Just try and line your titles up. So if we can move that just so they're sitting above each other, sitting nicely. So we just need to do our overall dimensions for this project. So if we're going to create our dimension lines, we're going to say from this top point to this top point. It's a linear dimension from here to here. We just want that to come out. Now we've got the decimal places in there. So we can go OK. We can actually um, change the precision of it, that to just have a zero without having the decimal points. It just makes the drawing really busy. And then we just go right click, repeat. Oh. Another lineal dimension. And just go around and just do the overall dimensions to start off with. Just specifying the end point.
and yeah, we have all our dimensions on there as we're as we're going.